All right, let's add some light commentary here for game 13 of the All Species, All Backgrounds Challenge. First, we've got a Vine Stalker, uh, Conjurer, and so this should be a pretty interesting run. I think Vine Stalker can do pretty well as a Conjurer, and I love magic bolting everything, magic darting everything, excuse me. So we'll start out this uh, forest, a uh, nice little outdoor part of the dungeon. I kind of like that. Head indoors, wander around, see what type of trouble we can get into. We're going to jump ahead a little bit. Take on some goblins up to level 2. That's nice. Searing Ray, very good spell. Very consistent. Very powerful. Taking a little caution, grabbing a dagger. Smart to at least be, uh, at least have some sort of weapon equipped. Plenty of magic darts to go around. All these level one monsters don't stand a chance. Ooh, here's a shop. That magic, that dart slug was kind of hiding there for a second. Oh, Lugitang of Oho Gaian. That seems kind of fun. That's a talisman that I don't think a serpent talisman. We won't be using that. Another shop. Bunch of books. Ooh, maybe one of these books has um, something good for conjuring. Foxfire is a conjuration spell. So I think we're going to put a bunch of those on our shopping list and come back for them a little later, maybe. Bat, easy kill. Ooh, level three. Get some more int. Let's get to level 20 on intelligence. Seems like a good fit. Yeah, there we go. Kind of hung ourselves out. Got two people in front of us there. Not safe. All right, finished. Oh, we're getting our our, our god here. Ooh, Ashanzari, nice. Okay, so that should be good. We're going to see things around the corners, and we're going to be able to um, see more of the, the board with our ranged combat. So we'll be able to, you know, be able to see a little bit better. I think that's going to be valuable. If we hear of a, um, something like a, the Ossuary or the, Bailey or something, we'll be able to find it a lot easier. So that's good. This robe would be good. Rampage doesn't seem to really help. Um, strength plus three isn't really helpful. Actually, that's not that awesome a robe. Also, I don't know how to say robe. All right, level one done. Let's move on to level two. Okay, just crushing these dudes. Pretty effective use of magic dart so far. I don't think we've used Searing Ray at all so far. Up to level 4, that's nice. A little bit of agility. Now we're going to have to figure out what to do. we got to move away. Yep, don't have any more magic. got to move away. If we can get magic up to 1, we can do another magic dart. Oh, we're just going to stab this, Quokka. Oh, that was close, but close battle. See what happens next. Let's get it. Get that scroll. Oh, can't pick it up because the adder. All right, now we'll pick that up. Spell casting up to three. That's good. We're on our way. Uh oh, had big battle against the ribbon worm. Easy, easy peasy. All right, this a second ribbon worm, and you got to move out of this situation. You can't stand there with two guys on screen. Gotta move away. There you go. This ribbon worm, easy to take out. All right, let's jump ahead a little bit. Now we have a vision we can partake in from Ashenzari. We can curse one of our items to get better melee or evocations. 
It might be nice to get better evocations. Probably better just to skip this one and see if he can give me something a little better down the road. All right, that's the end of D2. Let's see what's going on with D3. Good start for this Vine Stalker Conjurer. Nothing really scary so far. Let's see if we run into any named characters on D3. Ooh, Bombardier Beetle. Got him. Stealth level 4, reach level 5. That's good. Let's uh, Do we have another skill we can add? Ooh, we were on fire there. I bet a Vine Stalker is really susceptible to fire. It's basically wood, so... Uh, I'm right now thinking, oh, would Dithmonos be better for us? I don't, doesn't matter. We got Ashen, sorry. I think we can wear that helmet, so that's good. If we can get to it. There we go. Nice new helmet. Ooh, nice pair of boots. Got a helmet and boots. Getting a little bit of AC. Our evasion's nice and high. 12 evasion's good. All right, let's wander around. Let's. Oh, I wish you could get that, that amulet. Oh, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of bad things up in that area. Better be careful. Oh, oh we have uh, a new Ashenzari invitation. Elements conjuration. That's the one we want. Let's get it. Let's curse an item. Which one are we gonna curse? Let's curse that helmet. We're not gonna take it off. Or the boots. One of those two. Or the ring of flight. Yeah, Ring of Flight. Okay, Cursed Ring of Flight. Can't take it off, but now we have improved... Uh-oh, Black Bear. I don't think it's smart to fight that thing. Okay, good. Whew. Let's go a different way. Oh, we're going to go back upstairs. I guess we didn't explore all of D3 before moving to D4. Oh, we must have fallen through a shaft. No, I don't know. I think we did go downstairs. That was strange. All right. The Cursed Ring of Ashenzari Stars. Put on this ice ring. Doesn't, doesn't do us much good, but it's better than nothing. All right, that's the end of D3. Let's go D4. This guy tried to sneak up on us as we came down the stairs. Doesn't matter. We're going to crush him. Or we're going to stand here and stare at him for a little while. There we go. That orc was hanging out with that endoplasm by themselves. Maybe there was like a uh, orc and pet relationship going on there. That's nice to think about. Too bad we crushed him and his little endoplasm puppy. Mm, don't want to take on too many of these gnolls at once, so it's a good idea to, yeah, I like this idea of darting them and running back into this hallway here. That's good. This adder's going to get up close, but should be able to take him out. There we go. That's awesome. That was a really well-played room. All right. That's pretty good, too. Still trying to run into our, I guess that... Black Bear was the scariest thing we've run into so far. Okay, the Bombardier Beetle uh, has potential to be a real trouble for us. Set our, set us on fire. Yep, now we're on fire. Uh-oh. Life's getting low. Oh, we died out of fire. We got burned to death. Oh, too bad. Okay, Naga Summoner. Now, typically, I am very good with summoners. Uh, I don't think a Naga is... Uh, meant to be a summoner necessarily not uh, not recommended but I'm very good at doing summoners I haven't won with a summoner but I'm good at making it quite a distance I bet I'll make it past I think we were in d4 for uh, the for the vine stalker conjurer there man that was quite the quick f quick loss with the fire um, you know what I think we were wearing a ring of ice which might have made us uh susceptible to fire overall not a not a great play there but 
uh, this summoner, this Naga summoner should do a lot better. This is a tight situation, though. If, oh, if that Quokka had lost that fight, we would have been in trouble. We don't have any weapon. There's a club we can pick up, so that's at least a start. And then we got our little buddies. This little rat I'm going to call El Elvis, and this one we'll call Prince. So now we have Elvis and Prince, our little rat buddies. And our bat friend will be called uh, Wayne uh, for reasons I won't discuss, for uh, in copyright infringement reasons. Um, so we have Wayne and Elvis and Prince. And then the Quokka we'll call um, uh, Freddy. No, no, no. I got a better name than that. We'll call him uh, Wiggles. Ooh, we have an imp now. So the imp we'll, we will call uh, uh, Dr. Ed. I've already forgotten what I named the bat. Wayne. That's right. So Wayne gets a kill there. Wiggles and Dr. Ed following us around. It's still D1. Anything can happen, but... Oh, we tried to bring our little rat friends up before opening the door to a scary area. And <laughs> it wasn't even that scary. But we got our friends back. Okay, let's get some buddies. All three. I love it. All three buddies just coming in to take out all the baddies. Nothing particularly special about clearing out the rest of this level. Oh, little sleepy guy. He just runs past all three of them, gets confused at the last second. Doesn't quite make it to me. Walking around with my club, my three buddies. Are we level three yet so we can get our fourth buddy? That bat tried to be on the screen for a little too long. Okay. That's got to be the end of D1. Wow, what a long D1. I love it when the monsters get confused right at the last second before, uh, before dying. They're like, what? Wait, why am I being hit when I'm staring at this jerk that came into our dungeon and they forget that I have buddies too ooh there was a little mistake oh no there wasn't no I thought we chose intelligence instead but no Naga also has their skin toughen as they get a little stronger we got some jackals in that room so watch out lots of jackals Piece of cake. Yes, now we have dog. We shall add dog to our group. Canine familiar. Um, we're going to call Rusty this time. Rusty the dog. Just killing stuff one by one, walking the, through the dungeon nice and slow. Ooh, what's this? Staff of Fire doesn't really do us to a ton of good, but it's probably a better weapon for a, a mystic shaman like our Naga here. Uh, but I have, well, we're not going to learn any fire 
magic. Although maybe we will a little later when we learn the um, when we learn the guardian power. That guardian needs fire, so actually this top fire might come in handy. It's not. Yeah, I think it's thematically acceptable. Level four, not quite enough to be able to go after the, these two. The Blaze Heart Golem needs more spell casting, so we really need to up that spell casting up to four. Two Quokas, I had two Quokas there for a second. Uh, forgotten what their names are. Going forward, the first Quokka that I summon will be named Barkley, and the second will be named Shaq. So we're going to come down here. Yeah, so fighting Natasha is not the hardest. Yes. Let's bring out Rusty. Mm-hmm. Double team. Got one kill in on Natasha. Good. We just got to make sure we don't find her by accident when we have nobody summoned. Oh, just like that. We don't need her, like, appearing out of nowhere. Oh, she's confused. Keep biting. Yep, good job, Rusty. Okay, be careful right here. Natasha's looking for us. Yeah. Where's that third Natasha? There she is. Get out of there. Yeah, two on one. Oh, we got, we're got. we on both sides of her. Oh, no, she summoned that imp. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. A little bit of trouble. Did What happened to our dog? Oh, too many imps. Uh-oh. Natasha's getting the better of us. This hallway is yeah it's smart to put down some dudes and run away Shaq and barkley will protect us dr ed okay our dog is recovered so we can take on natasha with the dog we should summon first probably oh maybe we killed off natasha in that fight oh good still summon the dog always have our trusty dog by our side <clears throat> That adder really didn't want to die. Yes, level five. Okay, now let's get the blaze heart golem. It's fire summoning, so our fire skill is increased by our staff. Only tenuously bound to this earth. And this lightning spire, construct a lightning spire in a nearby location. Uh, I don't need to read all that. Yeah. Blaze Heart Golem is still 52% chance failure, so we're not going to do that very much at first. But we'll work on our fire skills so that we can uh, make that a little bit lower. I think the that Blaze Heart Golem is really cool. I don't love the way that it falls asleep if it's two spaces away from you. I feel like it should fall asleep if it was three spaces away. But I accidentally used a fog scroll there, so that's kind of fun. Still haven't run into any gods yet. We're coming up on the point of being about equal to the Vine Stalker. Uh oh, we didn't get out of there, and let's not face Sigmund. Facing Sigmund right now would be a surefire way to lose this fight. So, oh, I don't think this is smart. Oh, Fetus is. Um, looks like Fetus is going to be our god. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. Um, I guess it's sort of like. It's sort of like summoning plants and stuff. I think you get to summon stuff as Fetus too, so I think we should choose that god. 
So we'll grab some darts first. What are we doing? Just let this adder get right up on top of us. Oh my goodness, what a silly set of maneuvers. Here we go, dog. Come on, Rusty. All right, let's make our way through this dungeon without hitting any uh, double reds. That goblin had, didn't know what was coming. A sling probably isn't a bad idea. Oh, an orc with a trident or uh, some long weapon. I was right, it was a trident. Picked it up. The Orb of Guile. Hmm. It weakens the willpower of the wielder and everyone they hex. Uh, we're not going to do any hexing, so. That's probably not going to use that. Okay, Bombardier Beetle hurt us in the last couple fights. So let's be very careful. Our dog's on fire. Now our imp is on fire. Okay, confuse him or something. Oh, now our Quokka's on fire. Now he's confused. There we go. Yes, good job, Impy. Dr. Ed with the win. Spear of Venom. I mean, I don't know if that was such a good choice. I think we were supposed to stick with... Yeah, so Fetus allows us to grow an Oclub plant and uh, grow a Ballistomycete. <laughs> Ballistomycete. The growing stuff is te technically summoning something and encircling summon briar patches. That's all sorts of summoning, so I think that's what we got to do. We're summoning... Uh, Naga, so we summon plants and animals now. I think that's doubling the amount of summoning we can do. Uh, either way, we still don't want to face off against Edmund, so... Maybe we'll find a staircase to go down and do some D4... Uh, D4 dungeon crawling before heading to take on that fight with Edmund, because we'll lose. Level six, pretty good. Uh, we all, our buddies here have been corroded, but looks like they recovered. Now I put this at about a tie right now. It's got to be really close. So this Naga Summoner just has to not end up in tragedy. But a dude could come around the corner and surprise us any second and just end up right on top of us, hit us twice, and knock us out. So we have a fair amount of health, but still better to be smart. Uh-oh. See, this, this is the type of dude that's real trouble. Okay, now he's super surrounded, so... Did manage to kill off just about everybody. Okay, got him. Phew. 
those dudes can be trouble. Also, the fact that it wasn't red is a good sign. That means we've leveled up pretty nicely. Level 6 is a bit higher than what a specter can handle. Ooh, okay, this is going to be a fun corridor. Should get us a lot of XP, as long as we don't make any mistakes. The hardest part is opening the door and then getting out of the way of the bad guys. Yep, exactly like this. Jeez. Now summon something. Yep, smart. Okay. Yeah, this is going to keep happening, so this is not this is not preferred, but we've got plenty of dudes to summon, and once we summon and get out of the get out of there, it should be worked fine. Yeah, exactly. Two summons, get back. Let the snake get killed. Two summons, open the door, get back. Ooh, a white. Oh, we killed both of them. Oh my goodness, we're in trouble. Oh no. Comes on real fast sometimes. Oof. That was close though. Spellcasting's up to five, that's good. Plus four morning star, jeez. Guess we'll be putting that on. Rusty just absolutely crushing that centaur. Didn't even get a chance to participate. Evil Rusty. Does this white even have a weapon? I can't even tell. Oh yeah, he had a mace a flail. This corridor is fun. Getting lots of good XP, killing off zombie stuff. Probably enough to be able to go take on Edmund now. And I'm fairly sure that this is enough to have won this battle. Uh-oh. This white got through my defenses. Oh, yeah. Let's bring up the blaze heart. Come on. Mess him up. There we go. All right. Let's move to either D5 or back up to D3. What are we going to do? Oh, first let's add the lightning spire. Yeah. Okay, let's head down one more. Oh, I guess we decided to go up. Let's take on Edmund. Uh, Sigmund. Let's go. Fight me. We got this. Come on. Get him, Barkley. Uh oh, he's confusing people. Oh, now he's confused. Go get him, Dr. Ed. Rusty, do the job. Oh, yeah, we got him. Take that. Let's go. Summoning up to level six. Let me summon everything. Oh, there's a lot more level here on D3 we didn't even explore yet. What is that thing up there? What is that thing? A bat? Oh, it's a vampire bat. Oh, there's a bunch of level down here we haven't explored. There's something invisible hanging around? Yeah, there it is. Vampire bat must have gone invisible for a minute, or... I can't tell. Yeah, there it is again. It might be that it's going behind pillars or something. Ooh, that was weird. That was cool. You step on the Kukubakuda uh, altar and it turns all the fountains red. It's 
kind of a cool little feature. This vampire bat is just being too weird. Just come fight us, dude. Stop being a weirdo. All right, level eight. Ooh, a jib. Do we want to fight him? Yeah, okay, we're going for it. I trust our boys. Get a blaze heart out there? Ooh, Roots. I don't know if Roots is so smart against our against our dog there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, he blinked. No, he died. Nicely done. Nicely done, Rusty. That's my boy. That's my good boy. I love it. I love this part where a bunch of monsters come on screen, but we have more I have more buddies than they have bad guys. Summoning is just great. But the biggest problem is it doesn't scale terrifically well as the as the bad guys get stronger, my buddies don't really get that much stronger, so All right, D5, we're summoning everything. We got one of each. Here's a bunch of orcs. These orcs ain't got nothing on us. Yep, too many of us. It's almost always that I end up losing when I get too excited about trying to find the sewer or the desert. Oh, an ice beast. That's not good. And I haven't summoned anything. I think it's because I tried to run away. This ice beast is up on me. Come on, somebody protect me. Oh my goodness, we're losing. Get Whoa, no, that's really bad. Oh, we screw. Oh. Oh, man, it happens so fast. Just one simple ice piece is enough to kill, but that's way higher score than the Vine Stalker, so the win this time is going to go to the Naga Summoner.